2 News tonight. It has been one month since a deadly golf cart accident in Galveston. New at 6 o'clock, what the surviving family members want you to know about the tragic way their loved ones died. Good evening. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Daniela Guzman. Thank you so much for joining us on KPRC 2 and the KPRC 2 Plus live stream. Four people were killed when a suspected drunk driver slammed into their golf cart. Two of the victims were children. My baby loved fishing. He loved all his uncles. He was a happy baby. The mother sharing her story with us. KPRC 2's Andy Sirota new at six with that heartbreaking interview. Andy. One month ago today, four lives cut short in an instant, including Jocelyn Lada's four year old son, Kaysen. As you would imagine, today it was incredibly difficult for her to articulate the sheer anguish that she and her family had been forced to bear. Heartbroken. I lost my son, my father-in-law, my nephew. I just think about the happy moments that I had with them. In the months since losing her four-year-old son, Kaysen Bentoncur. He had a lot, a lot of love to give everybody. Father-in-law, Felipe Bentoncur, nephew, Braylon Cantu, and the boy's cousin, Destiny Uvalle. Jocelyn Lada admits the despair has been suffocating at times. You know, we all lost something. Grief, she says, doesn't suddenly end at a certain point after a tragedy like this. It's a lot to handle. 45 year old Miguel Espinosa is accused of running a stop sign and crashing into the golf cart they were riding in. On the night of the crash, investigators say Espinosa had bloodshot eyes and his breath smelled like alcohol. You know, the drunk driving has to stop. It happened in Galveston after court papers claim Espinosa had been day drinking with his companions at floats as early as 2.30 p.m., nine full hours before the incident. The family's attorney, who filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit, says the public has been instrumental in helping to piece together Espinosa's whereabouts the day of the deadly crash. If you've seen, saw Mr. Espinosa and his companions drinking and you know information, Please share it. Tragedy has a way of bringing families closer together. Lotta says she's been leaning on hers for strength and courage. You know, taking it day by day is all we can do. Pray. We just have to have peace. The family thankful for the love, prayers, and support. They recently returned to Galveston to do some fishing, something they all love to do together. Live in Sugarland tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News. Our thoughts still with that family, Andy. Thank you.